Okay, so I'm gonna I'm gonna hold you up right there. Now we are getting paid by these fine folks. All right, so we're not going to use their name brand. But how many thousand square feet structure are we talking about putting Wi-Fi into here? Uh, wasn't thousands. It was actually a few million of square feet, or definitely several million cubic feet of airspace. Um, because of the size of the building, the structure it was. Uh, multi levels. I've, I think the highest point in one in the hotel section of the center was 30 or 40, 42 floors, maybe. I can't re really remember. It's been several years, but it was amazing. It was it was quite an undertaking for uh, the logistics and the planning with outsourced uh, contractors and entrepreneurs as well as intrapreneurs that work within the overall organization and IT and just different facets it was it was the most complex project I've ever undertaken in my life or heard of to that point and this is in what city Las Vegas there you go. <laughs> okay so let me get this straight you're born and bred in North Carolina you're flying back and forth in between here in Las Vegas you're operating as a project manager. You're communicating across the spectrum of multiple disciplines, multiple trades, and you're putting together millions of square feet worth of infrastructure as far as Wi-Fi is concerned. Yes. Right? Which is which is a must for the majority of people, right? It's for oh, absolutely. Ab absolutely, especially um, in entertainment and recreation, which that's the industry. You know, I won't say the name, but, you know, big casino, big hotels, big convention center all in one um and you know they they host a lot of different technology uh conventions business conventions political convention you name it they have a massive convention center that's historical and you know they had not had that kind of ability before everybody had to set up temporary wi-fi poles everywhere and it was it was really um it was really stifling for the way people were trying to for one communicate with the public do as you know social media like facebook go lives and all you just it was a bottleneck and people could not accurately shoot live videos or host interviews on the floor it was a nightmare it was just another technological nightmare for years so when we got in, then the next wasn't actually IT um, a convention, technology convention, that was a global convention at that. So we went and set up, had all this stuff in place within a few weeks, at least that section where it would, would be the true test. It, literally, we got thrown to the wolves um, because they asked us, do you think it's possible? And I said, yes, it is possible. Uh, if you let me focus over here or, you know, I just have to jog the numbers and make it work out for your budgeting. They said, go ahead and do it. We'll worry about let us figure out the budget to keep the other side moving. It worked. It just simply worked because the people realized to satisfy the need, you had to invest into it and you had to rely on the people that were in place. Mm -hmm.